I'm in Vancouver today and we're asking people, is cuffing season real? Is cuffing season? Do you know what cuffing season is? So you smell your own fart? Uh, <laughs> no, it is. I didn't know there was a season for it. Just the two of us. So you're, you're, you wouldn't participate in cuffing season? Not really. I'm more of a committed, committed kind of person. In the summer, you have multiple dating prospects, and in the winter or fall, you choose one person to hunker down with, and then when it gets warm again, you ditch that person or you add more people to your roster again and integrate that person into like a multi-partner scenario. A lot of my friends, when summertime comes around, they want to get rid of their wintertime partner and look at the prospects out there. Now the study has shown that in Vancouver, People are leaning away from this dating habit and they're looking for more serious long-term relationships all throughout the year. What do you have to say about that? It sounds like animals hibernating or something. Back when we were hunter-gatherers, it was advantageous to have a partner to be warm with during the winter months. But you weren't aware of what cuffing season I had no idea. Never done it myself, have you, Caroline? Oh, well, I'm going to keep that to myself. <laughs> <laughs> I think cuffing season is more kind of like, I don't know, cute for fun and some people want more um, serious stuff. Can't waste your time when renting so much money. <laughs> no, I'm not against it, but I don't know if it's real for me right now. How about you? Hey, I'm, I'm cuffed. I'm cuffed. I'm cuffed. <laughs> Every season is cuffing season. I'm an all-season cuffing season guy. So if there are some people out there who use cuffing season as incentive, to get a little bit more intentional with someone that they already have genuine feelings for, there can be a positive to that. Somebody like me cuffing seizes all the time. So, you know, that's just is what it is. But I speak for myself. So you're looking for more long-term serious relationships. I mean, I wish, right? But you know, it's hard out there. The settling component of cuffing season, I think that that's the problematic part. Can you talk to me about how important honest communication is? I think for that kind of thing especially, it's very important. Because you're going to say bye-bye to them in the spring. And they want you, you want them to know that. But open, honest, and kind communication is going to go a very long way whether that means till the end of the season or the rest of your life. Uh -huh. Just the two of us. Yeah. Uh -huh.